Good morning, everybody. Um, I got this message on my computer yesterday. My computer's fine today, but I wanted to make a video of this because I didn't find the answer that I needed on uh, YouTube. So I decided to make one, and I got this um, yeah, this message: boot device not found. Please install an operating system disk on your hard drive. Uh, system on your hard drive disk. So, three, three F zero. I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> I'm not a computer whiz, so it popped up. I have the HP Pavilion, all in one. Got it for Christmas. So I'm like, it didn't come with a disc. <laughs> Everything is already in in the computer, so I was confused. And so C F two. I pushed F2 on my laptop and it took me to like getting a systems check or something like that. You can do a quick one or um, a full one. And I did the quick one. Nothing happened. This popped up. Then uh, popped up again. And then I did the full one and it went on for an hour and 30 minutes. And so I was messing around over by my printer and um ended up unplugging my computer and so i was like oh crap and i was like i only had like uh i think it was 10 minutes left and the power went off on my computer and so when i came back you know plugged it back in and turned it back on everything was fine i mean it came right on back so my computer is just fine i couldn't do anything from that screen so that screen just stayed up there so it wouldn't give me no other options but to press f2 or go to that website and i hadn't uh went on my wi-fi so i couldn't go to that website from that screen that it gave me but anyway it, it didn't give me an option to even click on it i could only i couldn't use my mouse i could only use my up and down keys so so now I'm back online and everything. And just by me making the mistake of uh, unplugging it, everything came right back. They HP does give you an option to, um, HP does give you an option to like reboot everything. So yeah, it gives you an option to do like a heart reset. I was like, it was like most of the stuff that I was looking for I mean, I was looking for the HP Pavilion all in one tips on how to get that one done, but it was like giving me the laptop uh, perspective or whatever on how to reboot it and holding down the power button and everything. So I was going to try the F2 thing to scan or whatever it was going to do to see if it was going to resolve the issue, but so happened I ended up unplugging it. <laughs> So, yeah, and it came right back like nothing ever happened. But now I have, you can see these right here. I have this down here. And it is giving me options to, like, do some things. I don't know. I have to um, just, I guess, perform all your updates that you can and everything like that. But nobody really could help me on uh, my HP all-in-one. So hopefully this will help. You can try it and see if it works for you. But make sure to try to get your updates done on the computer. And also, I'm one of those uh, <clears throat> people who I shut my computer down. Let me show you what I do. I don't let it go to sleep because I only get on it for about an hour and then I'm off. So I will hit power and I will shut mine down. So I read up on it and they say that sleep is kind of better for your PC. Just, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> but I noticed that this, this kind of happened twice. Something else popped up just because um, when I cut it back on, when I cut it on the next day or whatever, something else popped up. So I guess it happens when I shut it down. Now, last night, Yesterday, when I turned off the computer, I hit sleep and just let it go into sleep mode. And last night, when I went to sleep, I 
cut the power source by flipping the light switch or whatever when I went to bed and cut it back on this morning. It was fine. So I'm start using sleep mode. Just, you know, because I only use it about an hour. So anyway, <clears throat> I hope this can help somebody who is going through the same situation. Just, I guess, power, not power, but unplug it completely from the wall and uh, plug it back in and restart it and it probably will reboot everything for you because I guess it's kind of like a hard reset I don't know hey I looked out <laughs> so uh, try it and see what happens if not I, I didn't have to give HP a call but you know if this happens to you and it won't resolve the way that I just said give HP a call and they should be able to help you all right great day you guys